We've got a couple of high school kids with us here today who are doing just what most parents would love to see their kids doing. They're working hard in school, they're doing community service, and they're taking a hardline position. These kids are so proud of their community service that they're now asking their high school for credit. But what they say is community service. To some, it is community disservice. Take a look at this. Now you can just read some of those protest signs and see for yourself what these kids' positions are. They are here to explain them to us. 15-year-old Sam Roper and 17-year-old James Hockenbarger. Gentlemen, I want to enter welcome you to the show today. Well, You even came with some of your posters. What do your posters say here? These are your protest posters? You read them. These are some of our smaller ones. We couldn't really bring some of the bigger ones. Uh huh. And what do they say here? See, this one says fag equals AIDS. It mm -hmm. isn't literal. I mean, only fags have AIDS. It's not in that sense, but it's in the sense that they're the guilty spreaders of this disease. Uh huh. And what about this one? Well, this is taken, the site says Romans 124, says, God gave them up unto uncleanness and unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and men with men burned in their lust ones toward another. Okay, James, tell me what your signs say and what they mean to you. Well, this one says, God hates fags, pure and simple. We're preachers of hellfire and brimstone like every other preacher for 200 years in this country. This is nothing new. Uh, to this country, and we're simple messengers of God. Mm -hmm. This says, uh, "Fag equals anal sex equals death." These people, these fags, are playing Russian roulette with their lives, mm -hmm. and they deserve everything they get. Is this a real popular position for you to take in Topeka, Kansas? No, it's not. Uh, we have very few open supporters in Topeka. Mm -hmm. Now you have, you're so proud of what you're doing in trying to run gays out of your community that you've gone to your high school and asked to get community service credit for this. Explain that. Well, first of all, we're not trying to run them out of the community. What we're trying to do is say this is, goes against the laws of man and nature. Mm -hmm. This is still a crime. In New York, I believe, and I know it's a lot in Kansas, you can't be a fag by definition without being a criminal. Mm. That's, that's all there is to it. But this is community service. Mm -hmm. Come on. First of all, you are so prejudiced. And asking for high school credit, you got to be kidding. You're hypocrites. Right? No, my dear. No, my dear. You are hypocrites. Preaching. preaching. You're not preaching anything. Yep. You're not preaching anything. You're preaching hate. Exactly. I may not agree exactly. with how someone exactly. lives their We're lives, preaching but hate. it's not You're my business to right. tell anybody it is how true. to live their lives. Cry aloud. All right? Stand You're out. ridiculous. Lift up thy All voice right? like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. I'm not supposed to be parleying with these people. I got a message from God Almighty. Repent or perish. Okay. Repent or perish. Come on. And can I ask you to do one thing? Can you put your signs away? Let's, let's, use, our, let's use word of mouth for protest here. Okay, you said God sent you a message. How did God send you a message? The Through Bible. Very plain and simple. But the Bible also teaches you to love the man for who he is. Exactly. Doesn't it? Exactly. And how no, do you love? The Bible does love? not teach hate. How do you hate love? Hate comes among yourselves. It's what you, it's how do you, what love you cause. Sam, how do, you, how do you answer that? Because most people are somebody. convinced the Bible does teach about love. You love your fellow man. Love thy neighbor like the Bible says. You're exactly but you right. Love them and you know, how you, love, you know how you love them? You tell them the truth. You don't pussyfoot around the issue. You tell them, turn or burn. You're going to hell for eternity. From the audience. No, no, no. Uh, Rolanda, they've brought the Bible into this, and I'd like to tell you that there is a diverse opinion on it. I'm an ordained pastor, and nowhere in my Bible has it said anything about God hating anyone. <laughs> Secondly, I just 
Second. Second. All right, Josh. The word fag. The word fag never appears in the Bible, uh, so you need to drop that out of your lexicon. Word. Name is to start 11, with. Might I point out to you? You know what a faggot is? I know it's what you are, and you're someone that that's judging other people. Hot and fast. And let me it's tell you no, this: it's the same meta. It's a metaphor. You are sir. much, it much, much too young to arrive at these opinions at yourself. So one at a time, it's the one at a time. Thing. Now listen, we know your position, James. I want you to hear the reaction to your position. I know Go his on. position. Hold I've on. heard it a million times. I have a feeling that some butt crack pastor out in the middle of Kansas has taught y'all to hate this way. You, you have not so learned like that Noah? on your own. You mean mm -hmm. like Noah? How many people got oh, saved? Who did Noah hate? With Noah. Okay, well, you know anyway, what Noah did for anyway, we can play Bible ping pong okay, all, all right. night long. He condemned people. Well, this this protest that these young boys have comes pretty honestly. Tell us about your grandpa, Sam. Uh, Sam. Tell us about. Well, he's a Baptist preacher. Mm -hmm. He's been preaching for 44 years well, the same Bible truth. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about his grandpa because he started quite a movement there in Topeka. And in fact, there was an article about him in the paper today, and we'll talk about that. If your kid showed this form of community service in your community, what would you do? Well, let's meet Sam's mom. Come on out, Mrs. Roper. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Do we have a chair for Mrs. Roper? How you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Just tell me in one word, do you think that your son and James should receive credit for community service for anti-gay picketing? Yes, I do. Well, how can you teach we'll be right back and let a mother explain her position when we come back. We'll be right back.